a look at one of the most iconic sports venues in the lower 48. Built back in 1957 under the title of City Stadium, we are at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. First quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in Week 5 on EA Sports. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And yeah, that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down, the defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. Takes it to about the 37. The Packers at 3-1 and one here through their first four games, and they're hitting their stride of late, winners of three of their last four. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Throwing on second and eight, Rodgers steps away to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, this defense for the Lions, they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's Rodgers. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. That's pulled in at the 32. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt, and the Lions will take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Here's Brissett. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw, Brissad. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. But well, one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And 
he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down, Whitfield. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. And let's see the Packers defensively, six DBs, so a dime look on third. Could play coverage or bring pressure. They'll keep it on the ground. Whitfield. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Brissett. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. The last series for a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. These two teams, they met up earlier in the year, back in week two. And it was the Packers who won that game on the road, so they'll be trying to win the season series here at home in Lambeau. From the 29, Rodgers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Whitfield. And this Green Bay defense making that play look a lot like the previous one. Both tackles behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Can I 
right, so time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. They just get the playoff. Now Brissett. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Quay Walker. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it's a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well, protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it 8 yards. And it's second and 2. Pretty effective run there. And now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Hey, check 26. Go to 50. Hey, you 26. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got to jump here. So they don't even need to run a second down play. Give them the first. And typically when we see this jumping, isn't it usually third down, fourth down? They got them on second down. I think that's a lack of discipline. So it's still first and goal, but now they get to try from a bit Hold closer. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Aaron Jones, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, here's Brissett. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Brissett sets to throw it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. 
Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Brissett again. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, those have been a problem for them all season, but never quite as much as they have in these last few minutes. Let's count it up now. A pair of picks on his team's last two drives and double-digit interceptions this season. I don't care if you're the best in the game or an undrafted rookie. You've got to take better care of the football or you're going to cost your team chances. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And inside give to Jones. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football, all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're gonna throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Second down, another shot for Jones. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. tapping this forward on the jet sweep. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. They go back to the ground with Jones. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork, we saw a good job defensively to recover. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Yeah, 300. Yeah, 300. Now it's Rodgers. Caught on the right 
outside by Jones. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now Jones. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. This one swung out here to Jones. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. Play action, now it's Rodgers. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Touchdown! C.J. Ham, his first touchdown on the year. And the Packers have moved out in front. And he wasn't blocking or running it there. They tossed it to him. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They use their fullback in pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. ready to kick off their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. To throw again on second down. Brissett. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Here's Brissett. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. On play action, Brissett. And Shark calls it in. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Second and 10. Brissett now. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long. 
and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Brissett. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Tariq Carpenter. And the Packers are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series. Because drives like that, to end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll keep it on the ground. Whitfield. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Like this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. To throw is Brissett. He's got this complete to Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Play fake, Brissett. That pass caught, it's Williams. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. They run the counter. Whitfield calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Off the play fake, here's Brissett. On the move to his left, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. They've got up over 30 yards of turf so far, but the sack knocks them backwards, and that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, so much for holding them to a field goal. The pressure they got home on the previous play didn't hear, and that bought their quarterback some time to find a receiver, and it sets up a first and goal. Reset. He'll find Williams on the slant. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jamison Williams with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at 14. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Taken in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. 91 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 yards. The previous play big on the ground. That one big through the air. Things have jumped up quickly. Certainly appears that whatever their thought process is on the defensive side of the ball, they're one play behind. You know, loaded up for the pass, they hit them with the run. Load up for the run, they hit them with the pass. They've got to get in sync. A quick throw here out to Cobb. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And it's a Packers touchdown! Christian Watson, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Packers have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their 
chances here in the second half. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, Parker. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. They go play action with Brissett. Coming across the formation and making the catch is Chark. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Play action now, Brissett. He's got his man, Schultz, coming across the formation. And he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The end result, 21 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Throwing. Brissan. Oh, no, he lost the football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. You can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the Packers are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. Here's second and ten. Here's Rodgers. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 10. Intercepted. Picked up by Alante Taylor. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. 
Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. On second down now, Whitfield. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. To throw, Brissett. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown out a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. Now, first down run here by Jones as he'll take it forward for a gain of about four. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Yeah, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass in. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Dylan now on first and 10. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. 107 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Up the middle, Jones. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, 
will get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Every yard they gain getting them better and better field position and obviously a field goal makes this a two score contest. That's really all they need. And that means for your play caller, he's not looking to the attack portion of his sheet, right? He's looking for, okay, what do we have that's going to keep us in a good spot? No lost yardage plays. Let's kick a field goal and go up two scores. If we score a touchdown, great. But that's not what you're really playing for. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And this one is right through. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal here. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you, you didn't jinx him. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going. To and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Darnell Savage, and the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Well, all I can do up here is just shake my head. Six interceptions. I cannot imagine what he's thinking between the ears right now. Well, just think of how it is for his teammates because after the first few, you know they're going over to him. Hey, we'll get them next time. Now they're probably a little bit frustrated. And if you're a receiver, you're thinking to yourself, any ball that's in the air, you become receiver and defensive back. You've got to go compete for the ball so that you don't get another one picked off. Jones with a nice game there on first down as he takes his forward and call it a, a pickup of six. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him, ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. To throw is Rodgers. Now swing pass for Dillon. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turn around. Yeah, you just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> As this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because they just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance. 
So for the Packers, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. And, and they'll hit the road next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints. Thank mm -hmm. you.